Hello again, my friends. I don't know about you, but I've been needing relaxing VR experiences more than ever before. And I've got a fresh new batch of them reviewed for you today. Many of them are free, so let's get started. In the previous relaxing videos, I've covered the wonderful traveling experiences by developer Matt Newell, from Japan, to Iceland, to New Zealand. And Matt's latest creation lets you explore the beautiful Castle Rock Beach of West Australia. Take in the sights at your own pace and use the game's photography mechanics to progress with casual objectives. Take pictures using your hands, or with a DSLR. And just like with Matt's previous experiences, you can choose between teleporting or smooth locomotion. It's a gorgeous exploration journey, and I just love traveling the world in VR like this. The flat screen version of this is free, and normally the VR version is $6 DLC, but for viewers of my channel, Matt has very graciously provided all of the VR exploration experiences as a free download. Use the special link in the video description below, and if you really enjoy these, then feel free to purchase them on Steam as well, so Matt can continue to make more of these travel experiences. You wake up on a beach. Meditation VR is a free experience that gives you a 10 minute guided meditation while you relax on a beautiful beach. And the production value for this free experience is rather impressive. Lots of visual detail to take in on the beach, including animals that are kind of hidden that you might not spot at first. As the meditation progresses, the sun will set and change the lighting of the landscape. As for the meditation itself, it's a brief, simple meditation, so it's perfect for anyone to try. No previous meditation experience needed. If you want, you can turn off the default beach chair, turn off the voice, turn down the music, etc. This is one of the best looking and sounding free relaxing experiences that I've ever tried. I highly recommend it. Let us be inspired by the natural rhythm of the ocean. The waves are rolling in on the sand. Dojagi the Korean Pottery is a pottery creation simulator that has been on my wishlist for a while and I decided to finally take the plunge and purchase it to try it out. I did find it relaxing and enjoyable, but there are a few gotchas to this game that you should know about. The most important thing to know is that while the clay itself responds naturally, the hand interaction poses themselves are limited. There's only three interaction modes while the clay is spinning, and your hands will snap into those poses. Once your hands snap into place, you hold down trigger for the actual pressing of clay. So it's not like your hands are totally free to interact in any way you want. You're limited to the preset snap pose interactions. And there's no finger tracking. Another downside is that Windows Mixed Reality controllers wouldn't let me get my hands close enough for the thumb press pose. With the index controllers, no problem. But the size of the Windows Mixed Reality controllers just couldn't get close enough. If you can look beyond the hand snapping interactions, I think the clay sculpting is pretty cool and feels good once you get used to it. When you're happy with the shape of the clay, you can choose a gloss or matte finish and give it a custom coat of paint. You can export your creations into object files for 3D printing, but I don't have a 3D printer so I couldn't test that out. In the end, I was a little disappointed with the hand snap interactions, but once you get used to it, it's an enjoyable relaxing experience. The price is $15. The Edgar Mitchell Overview Effect VR experience is a very long title, <laughs> but the experience itself is an interesting mix. You're guided in a cinematic space journey by the voice of Apollo 14 astronaut Edgar Mitchell. I had completed my major task for going to the moon and was on the way home. But near the beginning, you're instructed to slowly breathe and relax like a meditation experience. So it's part space documentary and part mindfulness, a mix that I've never seen before. Step all 14, this is Houston, go ahead. 
It lasts about 10 minutes. Edgar narrates and gives some deep, thoughtful reflection while you get to enjoy some cool space scenery as you travel from the moon back to the Earth. For a free, relaxing experience, I found it pretty cool and definitely unique. We are Stardust, and we're all one in that sense. Binaural Odyssey is a virtual world that reacts to your eyes and creates visual shapes from whichever direction you're looking at. It runs endlessly until you decide to quit, and I've got to admit it's pretty entrancing. And best of all, it's a free download. Welcome to the cabin. It's a place of rest, relaxation, and peace. Have a seat at the table and enjoy Kim Aspen's music from the Vintage Radio. Hot Cocoa in VR is another simple free experience, and here you get to feel like you're really inside a remote cabin in Christmas time listening to the radio. It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. I feel this title is worth mentioning because the graphics in here are truly incredible. Photoreal VR is a rarity and a real treat to experience. So even though there isn't much to do in here, I think it's still worth a download because of how immersive the visuals are. Play full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. Stargaze is a puzzle game based within a fantasy space observatory. The majority of the gameplay has you observing unique and imaginative bodies of space through a massive telescope lens, and most of the puzzling involves changing perspective to solve line-of-sight puzzles by getting the perspective of objects just right. All of the controls are around the telescope lens for moving your view, rotating around the puzzle, etc. Some of the puzzles aren't truly finished until you take a photograph and add it to your journal. Or a floating steamen appears and you need to add that with a magical pen. It's all pretty straightforward and not very complex. Everything has a childlike storybook quality to it, from the music to the narration. Such honor among thieves! The shrimp hoodlums were clearly building an arena to duel on, like gladiators. It's a pleasant family-friendly puzzle game that you can beat in a few hours. It's a nice magical journey, but a little overpriced at $20. I recommend waiting for it to go on sale. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!